Hello and welcome to another VRTK tutorial video. In this video, we're going to show how we can set up our Unity project to use OpenXR and to bring in our Unity XR camera rig from Tilia and to use the Tilia Tracked Alias package. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron. There are plenty of membership levels to sign up at and it really helps to fund these videos. We're now going to set up our Unity project to be an XR project. So to do that, we need to go to our project settings. So go to edit, down to project settings. And if we look down the list, we can see XR plugin management and we'll select that. And then we want to install the XR plugin management asset. So just click install XR plugin management. And as we are setting up for open XR, we are just going to tick open XR in the plugin providers. You may receive this warning saying the project is using the new input system packages, but our project is still using the old one. So it wants us to enable the new backends and we want to do this. So click yes, and then the editor will restart. And once the editor has restarted, we can see our OpenXR is now selected, but we have this yellow triangle, which is telling us there's some issues that need fixing. We can fix these by clicking on the yellow triangle and that will bring up the OpenXR project validation window. And it shows us the two issues that need fixing. So the first issue, it says at least one interaction profile must be added. We can do that by going to the OpenXR sub option and then where it says interaction profiles, we can click the plus and select the profile for the headset that we'll be developing for. For this example, I will use the Oculus Touch controller profile as I will be developing for the MetaQuest 2. And then finally, for this last one, we can just click fix. And what that will do is just enable the new Unity input system in our player settings. So now if we go to player and scroll down, we can see in the active input handling, it now says both. We have now set up our project with XR plugin management for OpenXR, so we can now close these windows down. The next thing we need to do is import our Tilia packages that allow us to work with the OpenXR camera rig and to use the tracked alias. So we go to window, Tilia, package importer, and we can see our tracked alias package is here. We can click add or select it as we're adding multiple items. And then the next package we want is the XR plugin framework package. This is the one we want to be using as it's using the new Unity XR framework. So we'll select that as well. So with our tractor alias and our XR plugin framework selected, we'll click add selected packages to bring those assets into our project. And once they are imported, we can close down our package importer window. Now in our scene, all we need to do is right click on our hierarchy, go down to the Tilia menu, Go to prefabs, camera rigs, and then we want to add in our Unity XR plugin framework camera rig. This gives us a game object in our scene. That if we expand, it shows us our head camera, which is what we'll look through our HMD with, and a game object that will track wherever our left controller is and will track wherever our right controller is. However, in OpenXR, you do not get any controller visualization. So you won't see your controllers by default. Other SDKs do offer this and we will go over those in a future video. For now, we can collapse this and then the next thing we want to do is introduce our tracked alias. So go to Tilia, Prefabs, Camera Rigs and then add the tracked alias. And what the tracked alias allows us to do is have multiple different camera rigs for different SDKs in our scene. And then we don't need to work with those individual SDK camera rigs now. We can just work with our tracked alias and that will track whatever camera rig is active in our scene based on whatever headset we are using. For OpenXR, you don't need multiple camera rigs. You can just use the Unity XR plugin framework camera rig. However, the tracked alias does give us nice functionality as well. We get all of these events on there, which are really easy to access via the tracked alias. So to set up our tracked alias, we just need to tell it the camera rigs that it's tracking. So in elements, if we add a new element to the list and then grab, drag and drop our Unity XR plugin framework into that list, we have now told our tracked alias that this camera rig should be tracked. Now, finally, we don't need a main camera in our scene because our Unity XR plugin framework camera rig contains a main camera. So we can simply delete that. And there we go. We've set up our Unity XR plugin framework camera rig and we've attached it to our tracked alias. This will allow us now to jump into the scene in VR and be able to look around our scene and be able to track our controllers. So let's jump in and do that now. So now we're in our scene, we can see as I move the headset around, I can look around our Unity scene. We can move our controllers around as well. 
And whilst they are being tracked, we can't see them. As I say, we don't have visualizations by default in OpenXR. So we will cover that in a future video where we can add controllers in or hand representations or use other SDKs to use their controller representations. I hope you found this video useful. If you have, please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave any likes, dislikes, comments down below. Please consider becoming a VRTK patron and I'll see you for the next video. Thanks for watching and bye for now.